Hello everybody, we'll be talking about nutrition and this topic will be highly important in your, in your upcoming jam examination. These are the outlines that we'll be talking about, the nutrition and the mode of nutrition. So what is nutrition? Nutrition is the process of acquiring energy for metabolic activities, growth or other life processes. Mode of nutrition, we have two modes of nutrition. The first one is the autotrophic nutrition, while the second one is the heterotrophic nutrition. So let's move further. So what autotrophic nutrition is when organisms are able to synthesize all the essential material required for them from inorganic substrates present in the environment from the word auto. When we hear the word auto, that means they, can, they are able to do something by themselves. So what autotrophs are able to manufacture food by just converting inorganic substrates present in the atmosphere. And they are also known as holophytic nutrition. Don't forget, if they ask you now what which of this one are the same, know that what autotrophic nutrition is also the same thing as holophytic nutrition. So type of autotrophic nutrition. We have two types of autotrophic nutrition. This is the first one is the photosynthesis, and the second one is the chemosynthesis. Photosynthesis. When you hear the word photo, let's divide photo and synthesis. Photo means life, and synthesis means production. So a photosynthesis is a process whereby organisms manufacture their own food in the presence of light. They manufacture their own food in the presence of light. So what photosynthesis, there is light involved using what carbon dioxide and water as substrates. An example of photosynthetic organism are plants, algae, and cyanobacteria. Don't forget something. Now our plants are not the only photosynthetic organism. Plants are not the only photosynthetic organism. We also have what the algae and cyanobacteria. So let's move to the second synthesis. Chemosynthesis. Chemosynthesis is a process whereby organisms manufacture their food by chemical reaction, utilizing inorganic substrates like nitrates, hydrogen sulfide, ion, etc. So what's why photosynthesis use light? Chemosynthesis use chemical reaction. Don't forget, photosynthesis, light, chemosynthesis, chemical reaction. An example of chemosynthetic organism are nitrosomonas and nitrobacter. Heterotrophic nutrition now. In heterotrophic nutrition, organisms are not able what, to manufacture their own food by themselves. So they depend on autotroph directly or indirectly. They are not able what, to synthesize their food by themselves. So what they need what autotroph for living. And we have more different modes of heterotrophic nutrition. The first one we have is the holozoic nutrition. Then the saprophytic nutrition, parasitism, symbiosis, and commensalism. And we'll be picking all this mode one by one. Holozoic nutrition. Let's start now. Holozoic nutrition is just the mode in which animals feed on either plants or animal or both. And this nutrition has some characteristics. They are ingestion, digestion, absorption assimilation and ingestion ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and ingestion so when you just remember this letter i d a a e i d a a e i stand for ingestion d stand for digestion a for absorption the second a for assimilation and the e is for ingestion we are still continuing on that in uh, holozoic nutrition and there are some animals on that word holozoic nutrition the first one is the herbivorous animals and these are animals that just feed on plant only their food source is just plants an example is the cow goats and etc while the second one which is the carnivorous anim animal they are flesh eaters they eat other animals or animal products an example are the lions and tiger. 
while omnivorous animals they feed on both plants and animals and human beings are, are a very good example of omnivorous animal saprophytic nutrition now. in this type of nutrition organisms obtain their nutrient from dead decaying organic matter they obtain their nutrition from dead de decaying organic matter and because these saprophytes are dead and decaying they obtain their nutrition from dead and decaying organic matter they are excellent decomposer they, deco they are excellent decomposer an example are the fungi and bacteria so let's move to the other modes of nutrition now the first one in this slide is parasitism in parasitism one partner which is called the parasite they can depend completely on the other partner which is known as the host for nutrition and parasite that lives outside the host body are known as ectoparasites example are leeches why those parasites that live inside the host body are known as endoparasites so when you, an example at the day pumps so when you hear the word ecto what should first come into your mind is that what outside ecto outside so ectoparasites they are parasite that lives outside why endo inside these are parasites that lives what inside and also the second one is the symbiosis in symbiosis both organisms benefit from each other one is giving out and the other is also giving out too and the example is what fungi and algae in the lichen and nitrogen fixing bacteria in the roots node of leguminous plants name of that bacteria is rhizobium leguminosarium and the third one in this slide is commensalism in commensalism one partner benefits why the other neither benefits nor is arm one benefit why the other neither benefits nor is arm an example is what shark and remora fish so thank you thank you thank you thank you very much for listening i really appreciate you don't forget to like and subscribe